I think, why am I going on this tangent? So, brightens your day all around. Hey guys, welcome back. So, got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and this was kind of like a light, bright, easy, breezy sort of a makeup week. Like, I wasn't feeling super dramatic, heavy eye makeup. I was feeling like very, like, light and bright sort of look so that's what I got going on today to show you that look and that's what I was loving all week and I was really enjoying like some like girly sort of lip colors so anyway this was pretty much what I was doing all week some variation of this so let's talk about this let's get to it so first off on my eyes I did this most days where I just did a little bit of bronzer in my crease and this on my lid and then an eyeliner I'm about to talk about. So first off, this product. This is the Models Own Color Chrome Eyeshadow Kit and this is in Golden Lights. So this is what the outside box looks like. I wanna do a get ready with me on several of the Models Own products. I've purchased several of them and I wanna do a get ready with me and kind of like go through different products. Let's talk about the um, Zit Elephant in the room. This little friend, not so much a friend, has been with me pretty much all week. I don't know why it's not going away, but yes, I have a giant zit on my face. I tried my best to cover it up, but it's still with us. Okay, so back to what I was actually talking about. So, this product. So this kind of like reminds me of those Stila um, potted things which I don't own any of those, but I've like, you know, swatched them and stuff and they seem really cool. So this comes with a little like tray. Can you even see it? I'm showing you through the package. Comes with a little um, tray. It feels kind of like cheapy, but I mean, functionally it totally works. And then it comes with this kind of like mixing medium stuff, which I've only used it a couple times and it's already like, I don't know, a quarter of the way used. But actually, I really don't like that stuff. I've just been using it by itself. I like it just by itself. Like right now I have it on my eyes, just this, and I haven't found that it like doesn't work by itself. I, I feel like the mixing medium stuff almost like, I don't know, makes it go away or something or like, it's like it eats it up or something because when I would use it and then I put it on my eyes, I was like, where did it go? Whereas this way, I'm just like straight tapping it on my eyes and then it's amazing. It's this beautiful like light rose gold champagne-y sort of a color. It's really, really beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. So did I tell you the name? Golden something? Golden Lights, I think it was. What was it? Golden Lights. Yes. So I loved that this week. It's just like really light and bright and fresh and I think it looks really pretty with beautiful lip colors so either a red or a light pink or a bright pink or just I don't know it it makes this light bright makeup look that's really beautiful and then the eyeliner that I wore this week is one that I got in my ipsy bag and this was the one that like really confused me because it had turquoise on the top which apparently has nothing to do with the color apparently it has to do with the finish of it one of you guys was telling me that so anyway I got a black liner in my ipsy bag and I've been wearing this all week. This is so good. I love these eyeliners. This one is the color Swerve, and it's just a black. But man, it's pigmented. Um, it does have like a little bit of playtime that you can kind of like smudge it just a little bit, but once it sets, it doesn't go anywhere. Like it really does stick around. And it looks so pretty. Like I feel like this looks like um, almost like a liquid eyeliner on my eyes, but it's a pencil and it's easy to use. It's affordable. It's really long wearing, just great liners. This is my second one and I love my other one and I really like this one too. So they're just great liners. On my cheeks this week, I mentioned this in my birthday haul that I put up on Monday, I believe. And actually this is not the exact same blush that I showed. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten, this is in Honeysuckle. So the one that I showed in my haul, um, I specifically mentioned that I grabbed one that looked lighter because I was concerned that I would get one that was too dark and just be too dark for me. Well, the one that I picked was really light. Like I tried to wear it on my cheeks and it was way too light. So I actually ended up going and exchanging it for this one. So I got one that's like a pretty good mix. I don't know if this one was there before when I tried to buy the other one, but I don't remember seeing this one that looked like a perfect mix. 
Um, because I did see ones that had even more brown than this, but I feel like this is a really good mix. But even if it had more brown, I think it still would have worked for me. So I like this one better. Long story short, I wore this one this week. I like it better than the other one. And I really, really like this. So it's a beautiful, like, I do have a, a highlighter on today, which I'm about to mention to you. But it has like this just beautiful, natural look on the cheeks where it's almost like, some days I didn't even wear any kind of bronzer or contour or anything. I just wore this because it gives this beautiful like warmth to the cheeks and like this effortless look. So that's why I was saying like I was doing this fresh makeup look where it wasn't like super duper colorful cheeks, but just that like nice little bit of bronzy glow. These blushes are so nice for looking natural. Like I just love them. They blend like a dream. They wear really well. Lots of color options, but this one is such a good neutral everyday color. Again, that kind of like blush bronzer in one sort of a look because of the shade. And the highlighter that I'm wearing today that I also wore several times this week is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. And this is in Gilded Honey. I'm sure you've heard people talk about this because it's very popular and for good reason because this is beautiful. It's like a gorgeous, kind of deeper gold, like one that's borderline too dark for me, but still definitely works. Like I just have to, you know, kind of meld it with my blush a little bit. Um, but I mean, you can see, I don't think it's too dark. I think it still definitely works, but any darker wouldn't work for me. But I like that it. it's like a golden highlighter, but it has a little bit of like a a warmth, like a sun-kissed sort of a look to it. It's beautiful. These are such nice quality. They just like blend effortlessly into the skin. I have this one, Charming Pink, and the Peach one. I really like the pink one. I like the peach one too, but I don't know if I could pick a favorite. I really like pink highlighters, so I might pick the pink as my overall favorite, but I think that more people would like this one. Like, Obviously a lot of people talk about it, so obviously it is a favorite, but I think, why am I going on this tangent? I don't know why I'm taking you on this trip. Maybe if you're thinking about a gift for someone, this is probably your safer bet because I feel like more people would like a golden highlighter. There's your little side road trip on highlighter gift advice. I don't know. For lips this week, this was really the overall standout for me. This is one of the cream lip stains and this is in Number seven, I think it's Cherry Blossom, but I will list it for you below. This is what I'm wearing right now. It's such a like sweet, happy pink, but I love it because it's bright, but it's not like a Barbie doll, bubblegum, crazy, super bright pink. Like it's still bright and it's still fun, but I feel like still easy to pull off in more situations. Did I talk about this recently? I don't think I did, hopefully not. But I've been loving it. It's just such a beautiful, happy pink. It's just happy. These kind of colors make me happy. Like I put them on, they look light, they look bright, they look young, youthful, and just happy. It's just a happy, fun pink. So I wore this by itself several times this week. And I also wore this over it several times this week. And of course, I still randomly have the box. I've had this lipstick for quite a while now and I still have the box. I think because it stores really well in the box and I can see the name. So anyway, if you want to know what the box looks like, here it is. This is the Pure Cosmetics lipstick and this is in Socialite. Really cute box, like a really pretty box. Um, and this is beautiful by itself, but it's really pretty over the liquid lipstick too. So I'm going to show you both ways. It's really like a lighter, brighter, glossier version of the liquid lipstick. So there it is by itself, and there it is over the liquid lipstick. Like, isn't that just pretty and happy and girly? And this is such a throw it in your purse and go kind of a lipstick. It's easy, it's comfortable, not the most long wearing, but just really, I don't know, fun to reapply because it feels nice and it's easy. It says cheers on it. I just now noticed that. So it's like, it's happy. It's like a happy lipstick. Like it's a happy pink, but then it says cheers to you. So brightens your day all around. And the last favorite, I had this living in my purse this week. This is one of the YSL Beauty Rouge Volupti Shines, and this is in number 44. 
This is the one that Timothy got me for Valentine's Day this year. And this is such a pretty, easy breezy sort of a lip color. So I liked having this in my purse this week because I wore this like a lot this week. And this is great for um, like when a liquid lipstick will start to kind of wear away and you just kind of want to like even everything out. The um, Pure Cosmetics one works really well for that too, but this is another one. This was the main one that I was kind of like, I don't know, fixing up my lips with. Like this was the, the fixer sort of a, a lip color. Um, so it works well layering over other things, but also it's great for just like everyday, like I said, easy breezy, just a comfortable, beautiful, glossy lip color. Not the most long wearing because it is glossy, pricey because it's YSL, but comfortable, hydrating, smells nice. Mm. Smells like very light and fresh, like mangoes. So it's an experience, like a beautiful packaging to it too. So it's it feels luxurious. It feels luxurious on the lips. It looks luxurious. It should be because it's a luxurious price tag, but I love this lipstick. I really love this lipstick. And it's a great one to just throw in your purse again. It's a good everyday lipstick. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.